right below 40 degrees this morning and it's youth season that's why I got orange on I'm on public land in Missouri and uh, same place I was last night where I saw that buck so um, the deer definitely moving I saw two coming in haven't seen any yet this morning but once again I'm in this saddle and uh, I'm really hoping a buck comes from this right here in front of me yesterday a lot of the deer wanted to cross here behind me where the wind was blowing and if they do that they're gonna bust me so we're trying I'm trying to hopefully it's set up perfect for these deer coming up over the saddle if they've come from the east here but We'll just have to see which way they travel. That's the problem with hunting these big hardwoods. You just never know where the deer, which direction the deer are going to come. So they just mill all around. There's a, there's oaks everywhere. And um, these deer just are all over these oaks. So they just kind of mill around, walking all over. But there's a lot of does in this area. And so I'm hoping that bucks come through checking looking for a doe and I can get a shot at one
every time those bugs just make a huge circle that he came all the way he was way in front of me circled all the way around and got behind me to smell me so this obviously isn't working very good so I'm gonna go ahead and just move my stand right now I mean I got it'll probably take me about 30 to 40 minutes but to me it's worth it because the deer just keep going down and I'm not seeing any on this side they're all on this side of the hill so I'm gonna go off this side of the hill well, we got up here, finally got my stand up. Took me about 30 minutes. While I was setting it up, I had two does come right here and they spooked. And then when I got my stand up, I got ready to pull my bow up. And I looked behind me and about 50 yards behind me, there was a nice eight pointer going across. So that's two more deer, or that's another decent buck that I've seen out of there. So definitely they're moving. So we're going to sit here the rest of the morning and hopefully we'll have some luck.
All right, guys, so I explained on the video kind of what I did and what I learned from this hunt, and it didn't, I didn't do a very good job explaining it. So I thought I'd jump on here and kind of explain better what was going on. So in that morning, I messed up on those two bucks. They both basically circled all the way around me and smelled me. And the reason for that is, is where I was set up, I was set up on top of the hill. My wind was blowing kind of behind me, but back down that hill. And what I had was the saddle in front of me. And I thought originally from just the trails and the sign that most of the deer would come up and go up over that saddle and be right in front of me for an easy shot. But after I was hunting there, all the deer were staying on that side hill because the wind was blowing on that side. And so I learned quite a bit about that and um, that whenever the wind is going on that one side, a lot of times those deer, they're just going to side hill it and just go on the side of that hill. And so once I got my stand off of this top of the hill and went down to the middle of the hill, the wind seemed to just go right over those deer and wasn't getting, you know, they weren't smelling me. Yet. And so uh, that was a lot better uh, idea. And I should have done that the very first night once I saw that one big deer go through there. I should have went ahead and moved down, but I wasn't sure if that's what a lot of the deer were going to be doing or if there were still going to be some going up and over that saddle. And they just weren't doing that. They were staying on that side hill. And um, the area I was hunting was nothing but big hardwoods and hills like that. And so the reason that I feel like I saw, saw so many deer is because that was an area where we just seen the most, seen pretty much the most sign and we seen uh, a lot of deer there when we were scouting. So I knew that they were going to be in that spot. And so the key is when you're hunting areas that have just a ton of hardwoods and just a lot of rolling hills or a lot of uh, kind of mountainous areas like that, you always want to just, wherever you see the most sign, especially when it's close to pre-rut and rut, wherever you see the most scrapes, wherever you see the most rubs, that is where you want to hunt. And that's what I really learned. Especially, the main thing I learned, though, was just whenever the wind is blowing up over that those hills, a lot of times those deer are going to walk, those bucks are going to walk on that side. And what they're doing is they're doing, they're crossing the trails of any of the does that go up and over the hill. So... Anyway, that's what I learned. I would really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys on the next one.